more than a year since the deadly stabbing rampage at the Silver City Galleria, Galleria in Taunton. But the hero who emerged that day is still in that community's heart. George Heath died when he protected a pregnant waitress from the knife-wielding attacker. Today, motorcycles roared through New Bedford in his memory. And WBZ's Mike LaCrosse was there for that tribute. Roaring motorcycles honoring hero George Heath, who died saving a pregnant woman during a stabbing rampage at a mall in Taunton last year. Everybody around me and everybody behind me on this, this ride is, is with George. George's widow, Rosemary Heath, hopping on a motorcycle herself, leading the memorial ride, supporting the George Heath Superhero Scholarship Fund for New Bedford Regional Vocational Technical High School. Twelve graduating seniors so far becoming the first to benefit from the fund. That to me is, is, is my whole purpose, it, it, is to keep his name out there, to keep the school going, because he loved the school so much, it changed him. He Riders left the high school here in New Bedford and made their way to Taunton, retracing the route that George would take home every day from the job loved. The fundraiser happening thanks to Jared Henderson. It was his cousin, Sheena Savoy, who George Heath stepped in to save at the Bertucci's inside the mall. She's doing well. She's doing well. She had a long, still on the road to recovery. Plymouth County Deputy Sheriff James Creed, also a hero. The night of the stabbing, he was off duty at the mall and stepped in, shooting and killing the suspect, Arthur DeRosa. George's legacy deserves to live on, so it's really good that they have the scholarship fund. It was awesome. <laughs> Awesome. It really was. I had so much fun. Rosemary says she'll be back on a bike next year to keep the scholarships rolling and her late husband's legacy alive. Reporting in Taunton, Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News.